all you beautiful people, I'm Jennifer Ziliotto. Tonight I'm having a friend over for a very casual dinner and of course on such a hot day I wanted to serve a beautiful array of cheese. This is something that when I was living in France I learned the art of creating a beautiful cheese platter and I wanted to share that with you today. We're going to head on over to the fabulous cheese shop here in saint Lambert to buy some beautiful Quebecois cheese. Okay, so we're just outside of Les Chopes des Fromages, a fabulous cheese store, like I said. I wish you could smell what it smells like in there because it is fabulous. Let's go in and have a look. Voilà, ça c'est un bris paysan. C'est superbe. Il y a le coup là du bris, l'amertume, la crème, le bétail. Il goûte l'animal. Il se doit. Merci beaucoup. Mmh. C'est bon, hein? Ouais. Je vais prendre. Comme ça? Ouais. So I am back from Les Shop. I've set out my cheese platter. I'm going to put my cheeses on top of the platter so that they get to room temperature. Now, the one thing I noticed when I lived in France is every family has a, are very specific about their cheese platter. It usually consists of, which is what I've done here today, a harder cheese, a creamy cheese, a goat cheese, a sheep cheese, and a blue or kind of stronger type cheese. Most likely there are one or two favorites in that platter that are from the region of where the people live. So in the Basque region, it may be something kind of like a Man Manchego style. Where Bruno is from in the Alps, there is always a Tom de Savoie on the platter and there is always a Comté de Jura Flor, which is absolutely delicious. If you can get your hands on that cheese, try it it is so good but then i am sounding a little bit biased because i can truthfully say i'm used to it because it's my region as well Let me tell you what i bought i bought a beautiful zachary cloutier this is the sheep milk cheese i bought a brie because who doesn't love a good brie especially as it gets creamy and older mm, gets so much better starts to cool as they say in French starts to kind of pour out of itself oh, I don't know how else to describe it I bought a Le Marmot this or sorry Le Marmot this is a chef so a beautiful goat milk cheese and I feel like goat cheese gets a bit of a bad rap it's so good for you because it's not as high in fat so if you are somebody who has high cholesterol it's a great option to have on a cheese platter i feel like we're always given the same type of choice of goat cheese which tends to be a little bit sour so for those people who don't like goat cheese it's nice to explore the amount of variety i remember when i first went to france i was so surprised the different types of goat cheese that you can get them in a hard form in a really creamy form in a semi-firm so there's so many great varieties out there i highly recommend getting to my next goat cheese which is a tom de broussaille so a tom is usually um a harder cheese this one is a goat and the tom just means the big round. So a Parmesan, I guess, would be a considered a tum, although it does have this kind of a rind over top. Parmesan does not have it. And then we have one of my favorites, Bleu d'Elisabeth. This is a um, cow milk cheese, a delicious blue. Who doesn't love that? So voila, my platter. Now that it's done, I've got the nice different varieties of milks, I've got different varieties of texture, and different varieties of flavor. Anybody would love this platter, but this was definitely what I learned living in France, was having a nice variety from your region, lots of different flavor profiles. So I think I ticked the boxes here. Oh, I hope you liked this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, really important that you do so. And of course, for more style ideas, for more inspiration, you know what to do. You can continue to follow me on Facebook and on Instagram. Mm -hmm.